This ain't this ain't this ain't a show, all right? We're not out here to entertain nobody. Finish that. Uh, read that precept if y'all got something to bring out. Go ahead, bring it out. Psalms 148. Psalms 148 and five. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for He commanded, and they were created. Did we say no pictures, man. No pictures. Yeah, what it? Focus, man. Yeah, this 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 dude is an idiot. You're an idiot. All right. It really, it really proves something there. Do, 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 do you, really, you know what no picture means? It really proves something. Yeah, You're a fucking idiot. That shit get your face smashed the fuck in too. Yeah, take a picture fucking 20 feet away from us, big tough guy over there. Alright. Anyway, go ahead. So, so that's the that's the pr pr pride of Esau. We asked him not to take a picture, he's gonna sit there and fucking take take pictures and shit, man. Alright? I don't know what you're gonna do with that image. Look at what they did to the Lord. I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do with that image. You don't got my damn permission, man. Is he just gonna delete it anyway? Like, yeah, he just did that out of spite. Yeah. You know? That's okay, you know? Let him be the devil, you know? Let him let him be what he's perfect at. Being a fucking idiot. Go ahead. I just want to make a quick point to the Go scripture, ahead. right? Yep. Basically going free will. Because they try to use the scripture in the churches or anywhere else okay. to say you got, got free a cop will. on this side too. Just keep keep an eye open, no, alright? No, yeah, right, but just, just keep an eye open. The cops and shit saying we stole something. Deut Deuteronomy 30 verse 19. <clears throat> I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both and, and thou- wait, Didn't brother uh, call up the scripture earlier? John 6 and 63. So how do you choose life? By getting into this word, man. Getting into this truth. And then the dumbass thing is they, they choose that scripture to say they have free will. And the Lord told you to choose, okay? One or the other. And he, or if you don't, he gonna choose it for you, man. Yeah, but see, the problem is, is the, <laughs> the choice isn't yours to make. Yeah, yeah, God. The choice isn't yours to make, you know? But see, the reason why that's written is because if it's in your spirit, man, to, to, to basically follow the scriptures, you know, then to basically come to this side, man. All right, there should be something provoking you, and that's the word, you know? The word should be either provoking you to, to come to the truth, all right? Or to basically just say, nah, I ain't gonna deal with that, all right? And really, the only choice that you have is the one that the Most High put in your mind, all right? Man's goings are, the Lord, of, are of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Akan, go ahead, read that. So, Proverbs 20, verse 24. Yeah, well, you know, they don't, no, you don't got nothing on us, man. It's basic to know that you don't have free will. Matter of fact, that's the spirit that that even came out. Me and this brother were having a conversation. If you ever had somebody say to somebody else, you know, why would you do something like that? And they came back with, well, I don't know. Well, if you did it, how don't you know why you did it? No, hold on one second. So what's their, what's their, what's their back argument? Or their reply, the reply is, well, it came up in my mind. Yeah, it did, but who put that thought there? Three. Proverbs 20 verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? And that's exactly it. That's perfect. That's perfect. So how can a man then understand his own way? Just because you had a thought process take place in the mind, all right, and you had like an ultimatum, this or that, and you went with this, that ultimate decision was based upon what the Lord provoked you to do, man. All right? A point in your mind to do. Yeah, going back to the scripture that says choose his life. Basically, that's what we come out here to do. do what? We preach the word. We do give, what? Uh, we, we break down what's the life and the death to you, okay? The life is through these scriptures, okay? What's the scriptures you can be saved by, okay? It says knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times, okay? Perfect. And yeah. the death is the basically destruction, man. That's right. And that's our message, man. Either choose this. Uh, <laughs> this or that way, okay? That's why they got that saying, a choose wisely. <laughs> choose wisely. So, real quick, that's it. 
choice is already made. Yeah, that's right. Proverbs 16 and 1. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So, mm, perfect. Okay. Besides, you got it. Besides, you got it. Right there. This is, uh, this is the destruction of America, right? This is what's coming to the so-called white man, all right? And America in general. That's the judgment for all your wickedness. Yo, because these people are fucking retarded, you know? Well, what, what's that? I, I don't know what that is. Well, we're gonna just tell you, all right? That's your judgment if you're not, if you're not an Israelite and if you're not right in the mind. Go ahead. Um, Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Read that again. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. So the Lord made the so-called <laughs> white man. He made uh, Jacob, or the 12 tribes. He made all the nations, man. All the elements, all right, lands, everything. For who? For himself, go ahead. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Right, so es even Esau, he serves his purpose. And it's what? It's for what? The day of evil, all right? And what day of evil is that talking about? Well, martial law, all right? Concentration camps, disease warfare, famine. All right. That word evil is what? Bad time. So Esau is basically what? The Lord's sword. So the Lord is basically using the so-called white man for judgment. That's it. That's what his purpose, but he's still gonna have to pay or be paid back or recompense for his wickedness. So the Lord's gonna recompense the so-called white man for his, for his wickedness, all right? Basically, uh, reset to what the brothers just read, uh, basically saying uh, that the Most High created the wicked to basically do his purpose, okay? Yeah, to do his work. Because the Most High, he has his agenda, okay? He basically control you at least as his purpose. That's right. Like, you at least you have power on earth to be basically try to be like the Most High, basically, okay? Well, yeah, but hey, wait a minute, that's why they call themselves the uh, so-called Illuminati, the light bearers, because they believe that, you know, they're in the know, and at the, at the end of this thing, once they get everybody chipped, or as many as they can before the Lord intervenes, that they're just gonna continue to rule and take over. Uh, you know? I wanted to make, mention uh, something. I was watching this video with uh, Jeff Rutsch, and uh, damn, what's that? The guy who made, uh, damn. Oh no, hell no. It was just at the tip of my tongue, but basically he had the, he's, he's real, He's real like like good in the knowledge. He does he does like the maritime laws and all that. Ah, uh, damn. That that dude with the long hair. He yeah. got like a oh Jordan Maxwell. Yeah 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 yeah. Yep, yep, those yep, are yep. two stupid motherfuckers, man. Okay, like when you watch the beginning of the video, it's real good because they talk about how society is uh, degenerating, you know, yeah, decaying and all that. They talk about the economy. Then they start talking about basically how can you fix this problem? And basically they don't go to the scriptures because they just. So they're the fucking devil, they're the wicked. So they started talking about this guy named uh, George Norse. Basically he wrote the book about Atlantis, about a city that, that was under the water, okay? And basically what he said, what led to their downfall was that uh, basically they started uh, genetically mutating uh, uh, creatures, like what Esau is doing today, uh, crossbreeding uh, species and all that. Splicing genes. Yeah, splicing genes, splicing. And he basically said that's what led to their downfall. And they basically realized that they're doing the same shit. So what is that telling you, fucking devils, man? That you're going down, okay? And those are two. St I wanted to send you all that video, but they just got real fucking stupid, man. It would have made y'all fucking boil, enraged, man. <laughs> Be boiling hot. Like I said, this, I was watching that uh, the crumbling of America. That's a uh, like a little documentary came out in like 2009, and they basically said that. Uh, the same way Rome started forgetting about their infrastructure and started putting like clay in their money and shit, that's when Rome fell. The same thing is happening with America. They're, they're, America's infrastructure is like a damn D minus. All right, and they're slowly putting like like this, 